long day but such an amazing one because one of the things I've noticed from being here in St. Chris is that there are a lot of people here that care about the environment are aware of the possibility of making revolutionary changes in the world that care about how we raise our food how we feed our children etc 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 therefore it has created a very large vegan community here which we didn't have back in Medivest <laughs> I am so excited to say that there were almost more vegan places that could fit in a YouTube video chances are I am going to miss a few but today I set out to try to get as many of the places that I had not been to yet because we've only been here for two weeks we really have not had a chance to eat at all these amazing places anyhow these are all the vegan places that I have found so far in San Cristobal de las Casas. Alright, so first one, let's start with Loving Hut. Since I am eating their delicious sushi. So Loving Hut is in the northern part of San Cristobal in front of the church of Santo Domingo and west of the Artisan Market. Loving Hut is a chain of vegan restaurants that originated in Taiwan. They have restaurants all over the United States and we're lucky to have one here in San Cristobal. Their food has Asian accents. Plus they have some items that they sell that kind of look homemade. And to be honest, the only place I've seen nutritional yeast at so the next place I want to talk about is Sweet Beet. Now Sweet Beet is not a completely vegan restaurant, but I think it's important to mention because they don't only have non-dairy milk, but they also have vegan cheese, vegan desserts, and everything is made in-house. Aside from the amazing food, they also have a really nice airy courtyard for you to sit in, with trees and the beautiful St. Cristobal sunshine. And they have board games and games for toddlers. Like the owners have really thought out every little aspect of your experience. Today I only had cocoa with soy milk, but it was such a cute vibe. And I felt like it was a perfect place to rest after walking around for a while. And the staff, oh, can I, like, I know the staff is, has been nice everywhere we've been, but as soon as I mentioned that I was hot, the waiter offered me a cup of water with ice. And it's not common here, like usually it's room temperature water. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I have explained to you like my situation with water. I was totally thankful. Like for him to offer that to me, thank you, dude, thank you. <laughs> The next place I want to talk about is Vegano Stick Taqueria. Now, this place, I think it was the only one I came across that had Mexican food, like 100% Mexican food. So it was all about the tacos, the burritos, the nachos. I believe three different kinds of vegan meat. And then they had vegetables. So last time I went, I opted for the steak and the flavor was so amazing. It was really good. Aside from that, their decor is very San Cristobal. They have luchadores on the walls, plus they have a wall dedicated to the local revolutionary heroes. And the gentleman was explaining to me the connection between what he considers a true vegan is and that revolutionary heart and the local revolutionaries and the story behind Lucha Libre and how it all comes together and how that is the heart of the restaurant and their mission. Next, and the place that I personally had lunch today was Te Quiero Verde. And first of all, they take credit cards. A plus, probably one of my favorite vegan places that I've eaten so far, only because of the whole American comfort food factor. Once in a while. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, it's nice to have something from back home. The food was really good. The portions are really big. I think I ate half and I was full. <laughs> really economical for the amount of food that I got. I had a club sandwich today and uh, but they have burgers and they have you know like the things that you would expect to see at a vegan re restaurant in the united states aside from local favorites like chilaquiles and tacos and things like that so i felt like it was the most well balanced one they also have green drink fruits are commonly found here but it's rare to see a smoothie with something green inside of it now really close to vegano saqueria it's Bex and Bex is always packed. <laughs> it's always packed. So I, I would say it might be one of the local favorites because um, it seems like a lot of people go to it. Now they have food from all over. I had some curry. Um, my daughter had some chilaquiles, and my other da daughter had a tortilla española. They also have an area with vegan items from tofu to cleaning products to baked goods. Before I go on with this video, I want to thank my first two ever patrons on Buy Me A Coffee and an Alex. Thanks for supporting and thanks for everybody that watches and likes and shares and subscribes. I really appreciate it. YouTube is hard, so it does make my experience a lot more rewarding. Thank you. So Colibri, it's inside like a little collective kind of market and you know there's a few vendors outside. I had walked by it so many times not knowing that Colibri was inside of it. Now they are set up a little bit like Comida Economica. So they have a dish a day. It's an easy 100 pesos and that includes your drink. It says Entrada, Plato Fuerte, y bebida. So I guess they give you for the same hundred pesos, they also give you an appetizer. And it's open, open between noon and 4 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday. So I couldn't get to try their food, but I had heard a lot of people mention it. I just like I was having a hard time finding it. So now I know. You just go through that little hallway where the vendors are, around the corner, and towards the back, and there were a bunch of people enjoying their food. So I'm assuming they're pretty good. Now, a little bit farther east on Real de Guadalupe is Cocina Consciente. And Cocina Consciente is gluten-free, soy-free, and bases their food on whole products. So it was the priciest one that, we, that I went to today. A burger was 200 pesos. But the quality of the food is much more healthier than some of the other places that I visited. I ended up having a watermelon juice that was 45 pesos and I took my burger to go that came with raw jicama fries with some sort of red seasoning on the outside and a little bit of hummus on the side. On the way to Comida Consciente, I ran into a place called La Casa del Tamal. It's not a 100% vegan place, but they had a lot of vegan and gluten-free options. Now, what I found so special about this one is that they offer traditional Mexican dishes made in vegan ways. So they had vegan quesadillas, they had sopas, they had crepas without gluten, they had pozole, and they even had a dish with mole and mushrooms. The only other Mexican place that I found that caters to vegans only does like tacos and burritos and quesadillas and that type of thing. The next place apparently just opened or maybe just reopened, Todo Vegano. And this restaurant has a mixture of food. They offer burgers, tacos, sushi, and I believe they also have a meal of the day. I have not yet gotten to eat here. I decided to add it to my list of future places to visit with my children uh, because it was really cute. When I walked down, I thought it was a tiny place. Turns out it has a whole back part. If you have any questions about any of the things I mentioned, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And don't forget to like and follow if you want to see more of our adventures and all the things we learn along the way. Thanks for joining me. Bye!